Good afternoon on what is a bright, clear but breezy day. It is Friday, the February the 25th. I'm back in the reading up with um, some parcels and of course a nice hot cup of tea. And my next parcel is this one, uh, which as you can see I've already opened. And I have pulled out part of it. There we go. So what I've already pulled out of this is um, uh, Tiny Epic Dungeons. Uh, this is from Game and Games. It's the latest entry in their Tiny Epic series, which uh, promises um, basically a big play in a small box, and they pretty much deliver on that pretty much most uh, pretty much most of the time. Uh, Tiny Epic. I've already said how much I like Tiny Epic Galaxies, which is a a mini forex, um, you know, exploration exploitation. Um, not not extermination um, game, but it's in the style of a 4x game um, that can be played in about 30 minutes and comes with great little components. And uh, when I open this, um, you know I do like a good dungeoneering game. You come with it comes with eight hero miniatures, and then you already get all these little wooden pieces, uh, little wooden meeples uh, that they printed on to represent the monsters, which is absolutely great. Um, so I'm really looking forward to bringing to this, this, this to the table at some point and giving a re review of it uh, because, you know, the amount of gameplay you get out of these tiny little games. But uh, Tiny Epic Dungeons came with an expansion and that is Tiny Epic Dungeon Stories. Um, and so if you look in the back, you've got more miniatures, uh, more meeples, uh, more everything. So the heroes huddle uh, around the campfire, comfort, comforted by its warmth, but the, um, but weary of the dangerous woods that surround them. Journeying to Goblin's co Coast from lands across Ogmore, each adventurer has a story to tell their new acquaintances. Some are here for fame and glory, others for coins, uh, and some of them for more nefarious no motives. But for the moment, these are th these unlikely companions, our allies, agreed to face this daunting task together. Enter the dungeon, defeat its bosses, complete the quests, and save the world. So what you've got here is, okay, you've got another eight hero miniatures, seven wooden game pieces, eight story cards, two goblin cards, 12 loot cards, uh, five dungeon cards, eight hero mat, two boss mats, one rule book. That's the expansion. So, you know, uh, you, look, let's just have a look. You've got that, okay, and as you can tell, I, I, I'm having, that can't be fully closed. Okay, there's so much content in that. Um, and you get this as well, and it's it's um, it's about half the depth, but it's going to be um, equally as packed. So let's let's look inside. Now, when I looked at the miniatures for the core game, I was quite impressed with those. So I'm I'm expecting them to be these ones to be as good. So let's have a look. Put the plastic off, and then obviously. Getting this open and um, you know, trying to be careful not to spin anything because because if you've seen any of me do open it, unbox any board game bits, I generally spill them. So open up. That's what you got. So that's the rule book. I'll come back to that in a minute. And then below that we've got these bits and pieces. So I'll go through these bags. Um, we have um, first off. Oh, first thing I'm going to say is, um, first thing I'm going to note, I'll go in the bag in a minute, but okay. that's the inside of the front of the box, the inside of, the, inside of the, the, the box cover, the top of the box, and that's fantastic. You've got a complete little mini world for the players to explore and sight your dungeons. That's fantastic. And I do like this trend in sort of like going, okay, let's not just use, you, not just, just, but let's make a nice cover, but box art and so on. Let's make use of all of the, 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 the um, box art. So what we've got in here is we've got more meeples. So we've got some kind of golem, um, maybe a ghost. I don't know. I mean, I'm just, 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 just looking at this and uh, what's, what's that? I believe that's sort of like a, probably a fire elemental from the colour, um, but it's attention to detail on, the, on on these, which is really nice. I think they, it, they, it's 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 double sided, um, 
and you just look at those and go, you know, they're, they're going to look great on, 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 on down on the board. Um, so, yeah, some kind of eye god or something, I don't know. Uh, and then let's just put those back in the bag because I don't want to lose those. Next up, we have the Hero Miniatures. Um, and as I said, I was really impressed by those in the other, uh, in the other pack. Um, but let's show you. So we've got another wizard type. Again, nice little detail on, detail on, on, on these miniatures. Um, a knight. And that's done in the actual style of the Gamelin, Gamelin um, sort of like icon, I think. So let's have a look, see if I can see that. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, Gamelin. If you have a look on, if you have a look on there. You've got that icon. That's that's the logo for uh, the publisher. And then look at his um, look at his face. Look at his helmet. And that's very much reminiscent of that uh, uh, that cover. Um, Oh, and we have, that's got to be a, a, a monk, martial artist. Um, uh huh. It's a bard. So really nice little detailed miniatures. So these are what? Um, I don't know what that is. I, I don't know quite what that is. I really don't know. Um, these are sort of like, these are about, uh, I would say they're about 50 millimeter. Um, Again, some kind of sorcerer, I think. Uh, it could be martial artist too, but not sure. Uh, mm. And then, uh, well, God knows what that, but that's essentially some kind of beast there, big bear, a cat thing. Um, and, Good question what that is, I don't know. I don't know, but, but again, nice look. These are nice little figures. You look at those and you go, okay, you can identify each one of those on the table. Um, you're not going to have all of them on the table, of course, but you know, it's it, 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 really nice. Yeah, um, nice little detailed miniatures. So let's just put those back in. And then we've got, uh, because there's the encounter cards, including, you know, that's, that's a mighty goblin. Um, and um, these are the story cards. And then we've got the rule book. So here's the adventurous story book. So we open up and then we've got the prologue <clears throat> and telling things essentially here's a description of what everything is in there. So there we go, there's, there's, there's everything. So the I thing is actually one boss token. And there are, those are objective tokens. Um, and those are mission minion token cards and tokens. So those are actually minions. So you've got the complete description of, of all the components. And, uh, and then they go into more detail explaining what they are. Before we get to the epic, du epic dungeon level one, the top floor. And it's basically it's going to work its way down, explaining the challenges as we go. I, I, I would surmise. Um, and that, essentially that's how you know you can see how they're doing the setup and they're kind of seeding the uh, encounter deck with um, uh, with cards um, again that's that's what I'm thinking I could be wrong uh, and here's how you actually basically you've got more free actions like descend and rejuvenate those player actions uh, that's a sort of game changes then we get into uh, epic Gate dungeon level 2 explaining the middle floors and there's there's changes at each level so um, at each level, you've got free action and descend, and then the, the, the like, sorry, at the beginning, the top level, and then middle level, you've got the boss's minion. Um, okay, and uh, and then level three, we have. Let's see if there's anything there. No, nope, no. Nope. Uh, the final, the final floor, uh, and game plan changes there. So it's telling you how you know explaining how the new game is played. Um, and then when you look over, really, so that's all the rules. And over here we've got uh, that that map being um, printed from the inside of the front, front of the box cover. Um, so that, so you get that. 
Um, so which gives you, um, a bit, you know, essentially a little bit of a little world for the players to explore and delve into dungeons uh, and come back with the loot, defeat the enemies. So yeah, that's that's um, quite an impressive little um, selection. Um, the base is that, that's just blank. That's no, fine. Um, but you know, because you're mostly using that for storage. I want to put everything back in. Go so. Just, it's working your way, these, these the miniatures flat so that they sit neatly. Just rule book on the top. And then box. So yeah, that that's um, uh, Tiny Epic Dungeon Stories, a perilous expansion for Tiny Epic Dungeons. Um, let's say this, this expand upon for the core for, for the core game. Um, and if you've got both, you probably get quite a lot of play out of them. Um, and they don't take up too much storage space. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing in the nook. If you have, then please do click the like button down below. And of course, if you've got any feedback, I appreciate you taking the time to post that. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings in the nook, where you'll see me out here uh, in the nook with a parcel from which I will unbox a book or a game. Uh, and talk about it to the best extent of my knowledge uh, for roughly two minutes or so but all accompanied of course by a nice hot cup of tea then please do hit the subscribe button thanks again for watching and i'll be back again soon with another unboxing in the nook very soon bye for now